Alright guys, welcome to part 2 of our tutorial series on how to create custom gesture animations in Space Engineers. Um, again, the link to this forum thread where you can download all the necessary files and follow along in a written guide uh, will be posted in the description. So, last time we left off was uh, in Blender I showed you around the rig and since then I went ahead and created an animation. It's a salute animation um, using the rig and uh, there's a couple of key things that I want to show you before we begin exporting this and creating our MWM file. So first thing is whenever you animate you have to create at least one action. You can have more than one but uh, at least one is necessary from what I've tested so far. and. For example here I have uh, two actions, I have salute begin where he starts the animation and I have a end where what it will do when we're done. Now once you're done to export this is pretty simple just go file export fbx and uh, you should have this preset here if you use my rig however if you don't here are the settings in main you just export empty and armature which is by holding shift you can select the two in geometry nothing was changed from the defaults in armature you want to export only deformed bones and the very important part is these these axes have to match to what I have here it has to be negative X and Y otherwise it will screw up the whole animation and then under animation um, bake animation heal bones kind of necessary here I use simplify to zero because I want my animation exactly how I animated it. Then I'm going to export this FBX to this directory. And once that's done, we are done with Blender. Let me just quit that. Um, now, if we navigate to this directory, you can see I have an FBX file. Um, now, to convert it to MWM, we should set up our mods folder structure first. So if you go to your app data folder, which is where Space Engineers by default saves all the mods that you've downloaded. And this is also where they will show up if you try to create your own. So in here, you create uh, the name of your folder, which will be the name of your mod. So I'm just gonna make tutorial. And then inside this folder, um, there's a couple of key folders you want to make. Uh, first of all, you want to make models. Inside that, you want to make character. And then inside that, you want to make... And these should have to be spelled correctly. This is where we'll export our MWM file to. And you can double check your uh, spelling by going to the content folder of where your Scheme Engineers is installed and making sure everything's the same models, characters, animations. Alright, once we got this folder created, all we need to do is convert our FBX file into MWM format. And for this, you can use the uh, MWM builder provided with the mod SDK. However, I wrote a little Java program that gives me a little GUI interface to do exactly that. So if you use this program when you first download it, uh, it will probably pull up a select MWM build directory. And essentially what you want to do here is navigate to your uh, mod SDK folder and then go to tools and download builder and select this folder. And from there on it will know where your MWM builder.exe is located. Then source, this will be the folder where your um, animation is located, which mine is in this folder. Then the destination is where you want to export the MWM file to. So in my case, I will be exporting it to the folder we just created. App data, mods, tutorial, model, characters, animations. Select this. And uh, all the options here, you can leave them default. 
and you just click build. Um, I always get this warning and then it should say finished and blah blah blah. Now once that's done you can close this and if we go to our um, mods folder and you look under animation you can see that uh, we now have our MWM file and that's it for the next tutorial we will be building or we'll be creating a couple of extra files in here and a couple of extra folders to make the animation show up in game before we create our animation controller